Hi everyone, Kat here at CB Smith Reserve and I'm here to put the spotlight on Brunswick Juventus women's football team as they head into the NPLW for the first time in 2024. I'm here with head coach Josip Lonceric. Tell me, how are you feeling going into this season? It's your first season in the NPLW. How does that feel for you? Really, really excited. Uh, we've got a fantastic group of young girls um, and it's a really great vibe around the club. We're obviously celebrating 75 years last year, so it's been a, a great sort of journey to get them here. Now we're just buzzing to get started with pre-season and see how we build. We've gone from a state team to where we are now and that's a tap on the back for all the coaches that have been involved in the journey. It's been fantastic and we're looking forward to our first year in the WNPL and I think we might surprise a few teams. We're here to prove that we're here to stay. So you've had a very big part in the women's football at this club. What does it mean to have this team in the top flight of women's football in Victoria? It's sensational for the club. Um, we're, we're beyond proud of, of what the girls have achieved over the last uh, you know, five to ten years. We had a, a, a two, five year plan at the club to get the girls into the top flight and uh, no, we're all extremely proud and, and excited for the, the year ahead. I'm here with Cindy Lay, the captain of Brunswick Juventus. Cindy, what does it mean to you now that you have finally made it to the NPLW for the first time ever? Um, yeah, it's a huge achievement for the club. I just wanted to challenge myself and come to a local community club where I could hopefully lead and guide the youngsters and um, get them promoted to the top flight. Uh, going into this season, we've got a pretty young squad. Overall, it is exciting. We've got our training sessions, pre-season starting today. So exciting times ahead. Which of your girls would you say to people to look out for? Captain Cindy Lay, uh, experienced player, hasn't played at MPL level for a couple of years now, but has obviously played at the highest level at Melbourne Victory. Then we've got a few new signings like Karina Tolios, Emily Keppens, Lisa Smith, who I worked with at Calder a couple of years ago and she's come across and I think she's a very underrated midfielder that will create some problems for teams this year. There's a rich history behind the club. Just being in the club rooms, you see all the trophies, the past members, the past players. We obviously know Ange Postacoglu coached once upon a time at this club. Pep Montemuro was an ex-junior. So there's there's some really big names in Australian football that have come through the club and it's nice to be you know, writing a small chapter in that history. 